Hi everyone, how's your day? Uh, hope you're fine. Uh, we're going today to play Red Dead Redemption 2. So, this is, will be the episode 1 as well. So, uh, here we go. I'm going to start the game from the story mode. Okay. This is the beginning. Uh, honestly, I can't read <laughs> the words. Uh, the font is different. Uh, somehow, I can't read that old uh, font way type. So, I can't read it, uh, honestly. So, here we have Rockstar Games Presents. Red Dead Redemption 2. Nice. A uh, snowy blaze here, as we see. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay, Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There, Arthur. Any luck? Arthur. And uh, so we go going to play about this man. Is Arthur Morgan. An old man in town. Bandit. It ain't far. Come on. Come on. Chapter 1 Culture So obviously they decided to stay here uh, Since uh, this place is is empty, no one is living here. There are travels. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you are gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had. Well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But we are going to ride out and we are going to find some food. 
Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Well, they are facing a bad time. Miss Grimshaw, I need you as to well. this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Uh, oh. Hey. Uh, so now I think I'm going to with the uh, dodge to get some items for the camp. Well, we have uh, too much snow here in the place. The weather is uh, snowing too much. There is someone is coming. Micah. Hmm, it's Micah. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. Mm -hmm. So we are going to figure out there. So we made uh, find something there. Some food. Some other things. Uh, to make us uh, alive. So I can't even talk now with uh, with Micah. Are you sure about this? You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased to see your face. It's kind of lonely out here. Where's everyone else? Old mining camp back up the hill, huddled around a fire waiting for daddy to put food on the table. Said it before, we got too many mouths to feed. Well, we got a few less now, so you should be happy. That ain't fair, Arthur. I earn my share. You think it's unreasonable to expect others to do... Okay, 
Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Stop and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low. And here we go. I think that lies is uh, our destiny. I think I have to go by the horse. Okay, I need to board uh, the horse here. Let me do the talk. We don't want to scare these folks. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Ah, so, I'm going to cover myself with Micah. Uh, maybe not here. Here we go, this place. Yes, yes, I'm going to do it. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well. Hello, friend. Hey, someone came. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. I got folks, Arthur, dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, look, there's a corpse right here. There's someone who's died. I need some there's a body of food in the wagon. Or something. Uh, shit! Look out! There's more to pass! So, here we go. I'm going to find them here. Uh, looks like they are killer. Nice. Oh, someone is uh, did run away. No one. Okay. I'm going to leave him. Here we go. So I'm going to search now for some few things like food, such a thing. Uh, salted meat here on the table. And let me see. I'm going to eat something. Uh, looks like. Arthur is hungry. Nice. O'Driscolls. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam. Some biscuits. is 
dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Mm-hmm. Here's something. Here Ah, nice. Some cure for my health, so I might uh, use them later to help myself. Nice. Necklace. Mm -hmm. A photography. Oh, uh, this is. There's a woman and the man. Uh, these are the people who are was living here, in this house. Okay, there's a place is up. I'm going to search either. Cool. What's taking so long in there? I'm coming, Dodge. I'm coming. Just wait a minute. Just let me finish searching the place. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. The barn? Micah, Where's the barn? The oh, that place. Sure. Uh, so I'm going to the barn. I may uh, see something. Oh my god. Someone is alive here. Okay, time to fight. Um, take this. You idiot. So we can even choose, so we can ask him some questions to get some information. So here, I can't choose even if I do kill him or I do leave him. Okay, pick it up, you're gone. Right. Here we go. Also, the hat. I'm going to take the horse, either. A 
Okay. Uh, since the ho uh, the horse is not ours, I need to to calm the horse before riding okay. on him. Here we go. Now I will take this uh, horse to the camp. Nice. Oh, I hear something. Uh, this is the women. Okay, right. The women still is alive. Oh my god. The house is burning now. Uh, so we will take this woman with us for now. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... He just... They did kill uh, her husband. Can't stay here. You come with us. Of course. Miss, it's okay. Okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, Miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I. He. He was my husband. Poor guy. Uh, sad ending for him. Hey, somebody's coming. <laughs> I don't show us how we are here. Hmm, so he thought someone else. thing we need right now Dutch well it is what it is but we found some supplies some blankets a little bit of food and this poor soul mrs. Adler miss Tilly miss Karen would you warm her up give her a drink of something and mrs. Adler it's gonna be okay you're safe now they turned her into a widow animals I need some rest I haven't slept in three days you're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? <laughs> Funny. Get yourself to bed. Okay, second day. Still, the storm is on. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong, and he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but it's little John. looks like she wants he something. Got again. He ain't been seen in two, 
two days. Your John will be fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, he may be Abigail wants uh, to get her husband as well. He got caught in some uh, he's still not coming. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. He looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he so so we are going now to search for John. I like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Nice place. I like the effects here in the game. The wind, the mountains, everything. Seems somebody left recently. Mm-hmm. Someone came here. That way. Sure. Well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. Oh, we are going to follow the marks. You think it's John? You tell Hopefully, this marks will judge us to find anyone. John. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Uh oh, <laughs> wrong way. I was trying uh, the camera to switch the camera. Uh, so I can change even to cinematic camera. Ah, uh, nice thing. I think uh, the weather is going more cold since we are going high more. Oh, we found something. Okay. 
this is John's horse. Oh, I'm here. I hear him talking. Can't hear him. So we are going to leave the horses here. Uh, I brought this saddle on your horse. Uh, okay, I'm going to my horse. Uh, so I can get another weapon from the saddle. I can't take the shotgun, but I I went to the pistol. Down this way. You want your pistol? Fine. Let's just get going. Oh, oh, I was, I was to fall down. Oh. Uh, since the camera in cinematic way is keep switching from a different uh, perspective, it, it's hard to move on. I need to crash down. Okay. Good now. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. Climb up. Gap here. Great. I'm hearing him. Come on. Obviously he's near. John, say so can I can call John here? John, John, you there? Come here, out of the way. That's John. We're coming down here. He's down here. Cool. That was there. We found John. Uh oh, his heart. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good neither. <clears throat> Freezing. <clears throat> don't die just yet, cowboy. Well, can't go back the way nice. Now I'm going. Uh, I'm heading back to the camp. 
We are taking John with us. Uh-oh, some walls. It's what but I pay board that shotgun. But it's okay. I have the uh, the pistol. And here we go. We are going to fire them. No way. Nice. <laughs> dog bite. You know, fella, got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Well, well. I just feel like those wolves will come again. Uh oh. They can't. Okay, I'm going to use the shotgun. Let's take this. Nice. You see any more under? Don't think so. Jesus. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. As Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know? We're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Cool. John! Someone help John down off this horse. Uh, finally we Where came with uh, with the John. We got some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Right, here we go. There we go. Uh, Ay, uh, careful, uh, idiotas. It's his leg. Uh, oh, come on, let's get you warm. Uh, Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> thank you, I think. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that, that civilization? Mm, I think we are going to move the west is where from this camp to the east. 
Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Okay, nice. So we finished it, the mission. And we guys, I'm going to leave here. Uh, thank you for watching this episode. I'm going to complete next time. Uh, don't forget to like subscribe if you do like uh, the video and thanks and bye see you